some slight work, man. Those guys will be out in no time. Those guys will be out in no time, man. Oh, what do we got here? And the cool part about everything that's going on. The FBI on is Jackson Field Office. What do you say? <laughs> what do you say? Okay. Well, uh, you know, you the FBI that, uh, Jackson you live in Field California, New York, and stuff. Of- you always hear the stories about the South where don't get in trouble out there. It don't seem like that now. Nah, nah, you get in trouble down there. The FBI Jackson Field Office, along with the Department of Justice, now. has opened a civil rights investigation into a Rankin County officer involved shooting that left one man shot in the mouth. FBI already investigated. Big trouble, man. This guy got shot in the mouth. Uh oh, big, big trouble. One man shot in the mouth. MBI already investigating the January 24th shooting at a Braxton home. The sheriff says deputies were there for drug enforcement activities. Attorney Malik Shabazz is representing the family of Michael Jenkins. <laughs> the authorities was there for drug enforcement reasons. The, 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 the lawyer's name is Malik Shabazz. This is the Black Panther. This is the new Black Panther. He, he, I used to, he used to come in, um, in the... Um, Staples when I worked at Staples and in Washington DC and print up all his Black Panther stuff, man. He have us in there fucking working our asses off with all this because this is like 2001, 2002, 2003, before like the internet and shit, when people used to actually make flyers and shit and make like door hangers and shit. <laughs> like you didn't have like Instagram back then. So he would be in there fucking be printing up all this new Black Panther Party shit. He's just a regular guy, man. Act as if my son was not even human. Mm. This is how they treated my son. Why do they always say that as if they're not human? They're coming to fucking the DEA, the drug enforcement agencies coming to fucking. You know your son selling drugs. I've been there, man. When the show's over, the show's over, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When they coming, man, it's, it's over, man. At least for that for that time being. And like you just fucking cooperate, go to jail and get out on bond or whatever, get out the next day and fucking try to pick up the pieces, man. As if my son was not even human. Mm. This is how they treated my son. After shooting him on his knee, put a bullet in his mouth. Mm. According to Shabazz, a deputy put a handgun point blank into Jenkins' mouth. And the trigger was pulled. Who thinks that? Who believes that a deputy put the bullet, put a gun in the, in the black man's mouth and pulled the trigger during the drug officer? I'm calling bullshit. I mean, that's, I just, I just, that's just hard to believe, man. We know he got shot yeah. in the mouth. So we, we can He didn't have a gun in his mouth, though, especially yeah. with all the body cams and stuff going on now. Come on now. That's just, a, that's just, you don't have to do that either. Like, you can just, like, you just rest the guy. Everybody get down. Kicking the door. And why do you have to put a gun? In the guy's mouth and then shoot him. Like it's just it's a lot, man. Grim Reaper says, Man, I can hardly afford food, but Ock is a hero. Salute to you, man. Salute to you, um, Grim Reaper. Um intending to kill him. And it's only by God's grace that he stands here today because the bullet escaped on the right side of his neck. The attorney Well, oh, that's him right there. Wow, I didn't know that was him there. I didn't I didn't know that was him the whole time. Wow intending to kill him and it's only by god's grace that he stands here today because the bullet escaped on the right side of his neck the attorney says deputies claim jenkins was shot after he pointed a gun at the officers jenkins family now oh flat twist <laughs> flat twist he <laughs> shot out <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. His parents he wish he was dead. Trust me. Yeah, he's a fucking trouble. He's trouble, man. He got the feds kicking in their door. 
Jenkins was shot after he pointed a gun at the officers. Jenkins' family now calling for the release of the deputy's body cam video. And if they are accurate in saying that Michael Jenkins pointed a gun at the deputies and that's what caused them to shoot, then they would have that body cam footage out here right away. Sheriff Brian Bailey said in a statement, rest assured if any deputy or suspect involved in this incident is found to have broken the law, he will be held accountable in accordance with the law. And we, we were beaten, we were, you know, handcuffed. Um, it, was, it was traumatizing, man. It, it was a night of hell, something I never thought I would go through. Eddie Price was also arrested and charged with disorderly conduct and possession of paraphernalia. Shabazz accusing the deputies of torturing the men and using the N-word. While handcuffed, tasered over and over again, these two men, while in handcuffs, racial slurs were used by these six officers, calling them at different points. Man, cop that shot him too. That's why it's not big news. How old is this? This is this this happened um three days ago. That 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 press conference. He called him the N word because that's how we talk. Yeah, that's what I mean. If it was a black cop, it's probably just how we talk. Yeah, yeah he was uh talking to well, definitely a black cop that shot him. He, that cop, that cop, know how to speak jive. That's all, man. Say, man, you ever, you ever see airplane? <laughs> you see airplane in the movie. That's funny skit, man. But um, let's see, man. Uh, what's going on in Wilmington, Delaware? There? Did you kill him? Did you kill Robert Davis? No. Why is your lawyer? Murder suspect says he didn't do it, but that's news. <laughs> like the fuck? Yeah. Um. There ain't nothing too much going on in Jack. What? What? What, what did you just say? I said, uh, "What's going on in Wilmington, Delaware?" There's a lot of shit going on out there right now. Wilmington, I, I I can never. They don't have their own station, man. Oh, okay, but, um, yeah, they're probably mixed in with Philadelphia. Yeah, but let me. Let me find it. Wilmington is is this book. Uh, let me see what Delaware. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, they don't have their own station. Yeah, let's we'll see this one. They, just, they need one, though, for all the shit that's going on out there. I heard. Wilmington leaves one woman dead in Newcastle County. The shooting happened just after 4.30 yesterday afternoon in the 300 block of East 23rd Street. Police say two men were also shot. One of them is in critical condition. Yeah, they don't care about the damn Wilmington. Wilmington's small, small fry, man. They don't even care, man. Um, no need to fucking care. Um, give me another city, guys. Let's do, oh, let's do, let's do another city, man, before we get out of here, man. Mm. Let's do another city before we get out of here, man. Uh, Atlanta? Little Rock, Arkansas. You got Atlanta? Rochester, New York, Buffalo. 
Atlanta, that's, Atlanta. that's easy though. Atlanta, Atlanta is Atlanta is probably going. Rochester, don't get me wrong. Rochester is is is, is good money, man. Um, let's see Atlanta first. Well, let's let's see what's going on down in Atlanta, man. Um, let's see what's going on in Atlanta first, man. Um. We can catch up on some stories and get following from Wakanda. Atlanta has the highest rise of crime in the last decade out of any other big metro areas. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay, here we go. Right off the bat. A Villa Rica mother is devastated tonight after someone shot and killed her son outside of his car while his 10-month-old daughter was just feet away in the back seat. Atlanta police are now actively looking for the shooter, while the 20-year-old Georgia State student's mother is talking to Fox 5's... Georgia State student killed with his daughter in the car. Didn't hear anything about this. Angelique Proctor. Angelique is joining us live from Zone 4 Police Headquarters in, in Atlanta. And Angelique, another mother getting this devastating news. Absolutely, Christine. She says her pain is just indescribable, as you can imagine. She's going through a whole lot of emotions right now, but a rare and courageous move. She says she will forgive her son's killer. Where's my son? Where's my son? And they wouldn't answer me directly. Mom Tiffany Marsh shares a disturbing call from Atlanta police Friday evening, summoning her to Children's Healthcare of Atlanta at Hughes Balding to get her 10 month old granddaughter. Officers had just found the girl in her son's car on Allegheny Street in Southwest Atlanta. And I'm asking them, where's my son? Because my son had her. A detective broke the heartbreaking news that her son, 20 year old Julian Cobe, was dead. I okay, so he got the no snitching. Um, pit. That's the no snitching pit. So he was obviously, even though he's a Georgia State student, he was, he was down with the, you know, get down, you know. <clears throat> Everybody in the seventh of college out there. <laughs> He with the shits, man. Screamed. I yelled. I cried. Um, I couldn't get to Hugh Spalding quick enough. What seemed to have happened? I don't know. They're still, they're actively investigating. Atlanta police say the deadly if shooting happened. doesn't even know what happened yet. Happened at around 5.30 in a normally quiet off neighborhood off Cascade Road. Miss Marsh says her granddaughter was in the back seat of the car. She has questions for the person who pulled the trigger. The first thing I would say is, why? Why'd you take my baby? What did he do that was so bad that you had to take his life? And I would also ask that you please turn yourself in. This was a son. He was a father. He was a student. He was loved. He had a job. Lastly, the mother of four. He had a job. That's a big deal, man. He had a job. Loved. He had a job. <laughs> Lastly, the mother of four courageously says. So in order for me to be forgiven, I have to forgive others. So I forgive you. You don't have to forgive the guy who killed your son. If you love him, you don't have to forgive him. They didn't ask for it yet. Now, if they go to court and during sentencing or during the trial phase, they, you know, say, Mom, I can you forgive me? I mean, it's up to you, but she doesn't, she, she doesn't have to forgive him. God, that's not even in the Bible that you have to forgive people. Yeah, God don't forgive. Yeah, unsolicited though. Like, yeah, if she if they ask for it, but just unsolicited forgiveness, you don't have to do that. Um, I don't know. Let's see. So, in order for me to be forgiven, I have to forgive others. So I forgive you. And Ms. Marsh is asking anyone that has information to please come forward. Right now, Atlanta police have made no arrests. In Southwest Atlanta, Angelique Proctor, Fox 5 News. Mm. All right, Angelique, thank you so much. Mm. Oh, here we go. 
update now on an excessive force case we've been following out of Paulding County. The man seen being body slammed by a Paulding County deputy and dash camera video will pursue a civil and criminal case against both the deputy and the county. Fox Eyes Alex Whitler joins us from the live desk with the latest on that. Alex? Yeah, Courtney, Tyler Canaris says his physical and mental health have taken a turn for the worse since the incident, even though it was nearly a year ago. That's why his attorneys say the case shouldn't end with a GBI investigation. Can you imagine the description of someone trying to break into people's cars? Um, I'm not breaking anyone's car. No! <laughs> oh man! Hey man, I'm no. Nah, he flinched, man. I got fucking flinched, man. Hold on. Let's see. Let's this see. Hold glider on. on glider, right here. Um, I'm not breaking anyone's heart. That's the controversial moment Tyler Canaris and his attorneys say Paulding County Sheriff's Deputy Michael McMaster took things too far. It happened March 4th, 2022. Moments prior, the deputy told Canaris to take his backpack off. What is that guy doing out at night in this area? <laughs> like, how did he, there's a call that somebody's breaking the cars and he's just out there. Like, what the fuck is he doing? Salute to David for the cash yet and put his hands behind his back. I'll take your back back off. Deputies say he did not comply. In that dash cam video, Canaris asks why he's being arrested. You're being detained for a minute. He already told you why. We first showed you dash cam video of the incident last. Yeah. Listen, man. Salute to this officer, man. He um. He's an equal opportunist. I respect him. Yeah, he took him down, man. It's a good job. Man. Make no mistake about it. Tyler did nothing wrong. He was on his way to work. <laughs> Monday, Canaris and his attorneys told you reporters got a black they attorney. believe Deputy McMaster should be held accountable for his actions. The county, we believe, has known or should have known that this is the kind of officer who does not have the right disposition, the right temperament to be on patrol. Also Monday, for the first time, Canaris shared what that moment has done to him personally and professionally. After it happened, uh, I had trouble walking to work and not thinking that uh, there was a cop following me at work. Uh, I can't perform my duties the way I used to. I, uh, I can't pull things, I can't lift things as well as I used to. We will serve a written notice on Paulding County. Tyler has uh, a, a case against Deputy McMaster in his individual personal capacity. And then he has a case against Paulding County. And we now know attorneys have filed that notice of claim, which is pretty much a precursor to filing an official lawsuit. We'll be sure to keep you. Oh, fuck it, man. Fuck that glider, man. He should have fucking put his hands behind his back. Comply, comply, or fucking get body slammed, man. <laughs> Fuck that shit, man. Should have fucking come. Should have fucking complied, man. Um. Brothers, eleven-year-old Jameson and eight-year-old Christopher. Let's just say they were excited about everything at Skyline Park. That one. That one. Uh, well, I don't even know what that one is. I'm talking about that one. The basketball one. Well, they aren't taking in the views of Atlanta. There's lots of other activities they enjoy. For me, it's soccer. He likes at soccer, too. He likes to uh, draw. I don't like drawing as much. But when it comes to school, it's a mixed bag. Their favorite subjects? Oh. Uh, none. Math. Meek. Lee. No. None. Wait. No. Recess. Recess. Okay, recess. There we go. And when it comes to how their friends would describe them, Christopher. I'm mature and I'm respectful. And Jameson. Funny, weird, and mature. Here's what adoption means to them. Like when you take care of a kid like it's your own, something like that. That and so much more. These boys need the love of a family after the ups and downs of years in foster care. One day you're excited, the next you're like, uh, 
I don't want to be here. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. They use teamwork to share what kind of family they'd like. Yeah, Jamie would answer that. Nice, not so mean, but family where we can, like, you know, adjust very quickly. But here's the honest truth. These brothers have been through so much with only each other to pull them through. Being adopted together is an absolute must. And they have lots of ideas for family time with their new parents. Play games. And watch their favorite movie. Wakanda Forever is a new one. Jameson and Christopher hoping a family falls in love with them and gives them a brighter future together. For Wednesday's Child, Elise Seedy, Fox 5 News. Now that is sad though. Those kids still got a little bit of hope, unfortunately. But yeah, those seem like some dynamite kids. Man. Yeah. Like those kids, I would man, listen, man. I, I these 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 are some nice son kids, man. If you're looking to adopt some son kids, man, I'd give them a shot, man. These these kids seem like they might Yeah, there's some good kids, man. Their spirit, you know, it's not it's not it's their spirit, their 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 aura, you know. It's just, it's just not sunny at all, man. They, they, these are just, they, they're pure. They're just, they're just normal kids, yeah. Yeah, the kids, like a lot of sun kids are like grown, like they just, and you know, just like you know, just not kids, yeah. These are just fucking normal ass kids from like an '80s movie or some shit, or like, like fucking um, Eddie Winslow or fucking uh, goddamn Theo Huxtable. They just regular fucking mm -hmm. kids. Yeah, salute, man. I, I I like these sun kids. What do y'all think, chat? Chat, hit one if you like these sun kids. If you if you would recommend these kids for adoption, hit two if you wouldn't, man. You got to get them before they turn thirteen, though. No. <laughs> now I got Once my daughter. My daughter's my daughter's she, she, she a handful, man. My daughter's a handful, man. She, if I have a, if I, you know, say like my daughter, if we have a, if me and my wife have another kid, man, we that'll be great. But my daughter's a handful, man. Um, salute to Eric S, man, coming through once again, man. Salute to you, bro. My daughter is um. How old is she now? She's she's uh. Two years and four okay, months. Yeah, yeah uh, this so, is a phase. Well, she's supposed to be moving and grooving anyway, though. If you got a oh, kid, yeah, that's she's, yeah. She she's energetic and she's she's throwing temper tantrums when she gets mad, and she's um she she changed she she she's changed she 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 just she like did the Doctor Jekyll, Mister Hyde on us, man. She completely changed her personality in the last couple of fucking months, man. Yeah, that's normal. Yeah, but she's it's all good, man. She still she be like, I love you. I mean that shit make that shit makes my day, but she come and she be like, I love you. But she don't say it like that. She can barely say it. I'd be mean, like, Yeah, I love you. Then she give me a hug. She like, mm -hmm. like, yeah, that's, yeah, that's cherish that's those cool. moments because in 20 years she'll be asking for the car keys. <laughs> so yeah, man. I'm just I'm just you know what I'm saying? I'm just taking it one day at a time, man. Yeah. Um Man, well, salute to these kids, man. These some good kids, man. I like these kids, man. Um, I like these kids. I like them a lot, man. Um, let's see. Mm. Oh, God. Well, it has been another active weekend of gun violence here in Metro Atlanta. Fox 5's Kim Luffler joins us from the live desk. Kim, many of these incidents have involved our youngest of uh, 